Hello, in this class, we will study about edge technology. Now, edge is enhanced data rates for GSM evolution. So this is this become an another evolution or another technology for data rates and which one enhanced data rate. So we are moving towards high speed data or more data rates which is our requirement in day to day. Now GPRS is a technology which is general packet radio service and this technology that we had discussed in our classes. Now this technology which is under 2.5G is the very first data related technology. Now we have an aim of 3G that means after 2.5G we will achieve third generation and third generation is UMTS which is universal mobile telecommunications systems. So this is UMTS which is my 3G. Now we are with 2.5G. We have to move towards 3G in which expected data rates is 400 kbps which is the expected data rate in third generation. Whereas in GPRS we are having only 40 kbps which means that we are demanding a jump of almost 10 times. So that means from 2.5G to 3G, we are expecting that we should have a jump of almost 10 times. Now, we have a technology in this point that means whenever we are demanding a jump of 10 times, so we achieved uh, another technology which is 2.75G. That's why it is in the center of 2.5G and 3G because it is in the mid of both the generations 2.5G and 3G. Now, Now I will write that this is my 2.5G which is technology name is GPRS channel packet radio service and this is also my 2.5G and GPRS. Now what we want, we want that we can have almost from 40 to 400 because this is my 3G UMTS. So I require a jump of 10 times. And this is without continuity because in this we have we don't have any continuity. And practically this could not be possible that we are expecting this much jump in the previous years. Now in this we want 3G UMTS or 400. Now this provided that means this technology which is edge. Edge provided an underlay and we will be able to achieve speed of from 40 to almost 200. Now we can say that we have achieved a jump of 5 times. Now we will achieve jump of 2 times. So that means we have a continuity in this. Continuity, or I can say that edge technology provided an underlay for 3G. So we have achieved 3G only because in the center edge technology has provided us an underlay relay. Now the speed in 3G is 384 kbps, and the speed is in edge is 170 kbps, but 
as I've taken an example of 200 and 400 for multiplication factors so that we can understand that how edge technology has provided an underlay for 3G. So third generation is possible only because of edge ascent. point After that, we have achieved 3G. Now, what about the hardware and the software part? Because we have already established GPRS network like from mobile stations we have BTS from BTS we are attached with BSC in BSC we have packet control unit BSCs are attached to MSC for voice and we have attached to SGSN for data like its databases and then GGSN external network and databases so that means we have this architecture of GPRS now whenever we are required to add on edge technology how do we add we are not going to replace any of the components in edge we require only hardware and software upgradation so whenever we move from gprs towards edge we don't have change any of the components from this architecture only we have upgradation of hardware as well as software so we require hardware and software up technique So this is one of the change for evolution from GPRS to H that we require hardware as well as software upgradation. Now this GPRS. and GSM. They both are working on a modulation scheme and that modulation scheme is GMSK that is able to process only one bit or modulate only one bit at a time. Now we require to move to a high data rate or we require increased speed. So we move from GPRS to H. So then one of the change in this is modulation scheme that we have changed the modulation scheme from GMSK to 8PSK. Now 8 so 2 raised to power of 3 so this with the help of this modulation scheme we will be able to modulate 3 bits at a time. So from 1 bit at a time to move, we are moving to 3 bits at a time that means we have increased in the speed because modulation technique we are using is higher than that of the previous which is GMSK. So this is edge to one of the change that we have changed the modulation scheme. So that's why we require to change the hardware as well as software part or we require to upgrade the hardware and the software part because the previous hardware as well as software is working on the GMSK modulation scheme. Now as we are moving towards edge so we require upgradation of the software as well as hardware part because we have changed the modulation scheme in edge technology and we are using 8PSK in this we are using GMSK modulation scheme. This 
technology as it has evolved from the GPRS network. So this is also known as eGPRS. Where eGPRS is evolved, general packet radio service. Now we name it as edge technology, which is a common name. Wherever we are using edge technology, like I will draw here. Now this is a mobile handset, MS1. And this is another mobile handset as MS2. Now on mo mobile station 1, we will use edge technology. So we will have a sign as, sorry, if we are using on this GPRS technology, so we will have a sign like this. That means at that point of time, we are attached to the GPRS network. And whenever we are on an edge network, we will have sign this. So comparative to G, we have increased speed in edge. Now rest all things. That means whatever we have studied in GPRS, like we have studied channels, then we have studied about PTMSI, TLLI, after that P PDCP or PDP context, context activation process. In that we have studied about GPRS attach, the same procedure what we have here, edge attach. RE update. So these are all the things which are same in from with GPRS because we have not changed the radio interface part. We have upgraded the things. The bands, the frequency band, the concern, the time slot, everything is same as well as the channels. Now we have eradicated GPRS from our network and in the whole we are trying to or we are having 2.75G which is a edge technology. That means those who are using the internet that are latched on the edge technology except in some most rural areas where we can see the GPRS signals. But in most of the areas now we have deployed the edge technology because it is better than the previous one. That means in all the areas we have changed the, or we have upgraded the hardware as well as software part. No need in change of the hardware components as well as software. No need change in antenna, configuration, bands, frequency band. Now, we have changed all these, that means frequency bands, and we have changed some part in the radio part in our 3G. But till edge, till edge, we have not changed the hardware and software only we have upgraded. So the difference between GPRS and the edge is one is a modulation scheme. In GPRS, we don't have any hardware or software. In this, we have hardware and software upgradation. That will result in increased data rate. Now, if we have increased data rate, then we have more services comparative to GPRS. Like we have web browsing fast. We can see videos with streaming. So these are the services which are possible only with technology. So this is the lecture that we have today is of edge technology which is similar to that of GPR with little bit changes. So thank you so much.